good evening, and um, I'm here again on another Sunday evening. Uh, the sun's gone down. It's been an absolutely fantastic weekend of working. We haven't really got lots done inside the house, but we have something really, really exciting. We have no brushwood. Look at it. Look at it. Look at all this grass. We haven't seen this for so long now. So it's not all gone. There's a tiny little bit here and I might have a, a quick bonfire a little bit later on to get rid of it. But we can now actually see the full scale of the garden for the first time with none of the brushwood obscuring it. And it's actually a flipping massive garden. Now, the one thing we do have to do is we haven't started any work on this side yet. So the garden that we're looking at here, this hedgerow, this is still going back about three meters deep. And it's there's some nice trees in there there's a couple of nice plants but it's mainly just overgrown stuff so a little bit more work to do there but we are getting there our apple tree has survived as well we've taken down uh, another ash tree that you can see here now the problem with this ash is that um, well you can see you can just literally see the stump left uh, left there the problem with this one is that it was uh, dangling precariously over next door and you can just see on the right there next door's shed um, the other problem that we had is it was very very tall and very thin with uh, not very many boughs popping out so my brother Simon had to do a bit of uh, acrobatics and some incredibly skilled lumberjacking and tree surgery I suppose it's called over here and uh, yeah he just did an absolutely fantastic job really really pleased with the job he's done and uh, so we have the big apple tree that survived which will hopefully become a centerpiece of the garden once all the landscaping is done and uh, and sans trees so um, the next big job for us to do is to take down this chalk wall now this chalk wall is leaning over at about a I don't know about a 30 degree angle um, it's a beautiful wall or it was at one point a beautiful wall but you can see along these points here that the tiles have come off the top over the years and as the tiles have come off at the top the rain has saturated it and it's made it incredibly um, uh, incredibly brittle I mean if I put my finger in it, it actually starts falling apart so we're not touching it it's leaning right over next door's garden um, we just got to work out what to do with this garage now so the other exciting news that we've got is that planning permission finally went in this week with um, uh, Gary from GMA Design, fantastic architects that have um, drawn us up some fantastic plans for the house and the garage. We think we're probably going to get the garage planning through before the house, providing obviously everything goes okay, uh, in which case this garage needs to come down and it will be turned into a double oak framed garage with a new fence that's going to run all the way along the side and the top of the house. So uh, the next big conundrum is obviously to do all this work, we've got to dig out all of these roots as well. So we're, we're left with a load of tree stumps now from the, I think, probably 12, 13 trees we've taken down now in total. So we've got all of these tree stumps here and here to get rid of as well. So we're going to have to get a pretty sizable uh, excavator in. <clears throat> um, we're going to have to get a dumper truck as well, and we're going to have to get a large skip to get rid of all this rubbish with. So we've got some big jobs ahead of us i don't really want to get an excavator in just for um taking down the wall digging up the tree roots if i can get the garage taken down at the same time then we will so that's the next big dilemma that we're uh, that we're working with um now while it's taken a very long time for us to get rid of all this brushwood outside my dad has been working um, meticulously pretty much on his own bless him uh, inside the house so we've um, we just come around the corner here, and we can just head straight on upstairs where he's been working. And his latest job is pretty apparent. As soon as you walk up here, we don't really have much of a floor left. So what Dad's been doing basically is cutting up all the old floorboards. They were um, way too thin to be used and we needed the access in for when we get the um, sparky and the plumber in to do their bits so hopefully at some point over this week or next weekend the uh, electrician's going to come in and they're going to make uh, basically kill off all of the circuits around the house except for a couple of them um, so that we can still boil the kettle put up lightings and run the power tools 
and all the battery rechargers for the power tools. And then we can come in and rip out all the old electrics from the entire house, um, ready for the new stuff to be plumbed in. We really are now starting to get to a point where we're running out of jobs to do um, before getting planning permission. So you can see the wall here is up uh, where the chimney used to be. So this is in place now and it's uh, fully load bearing. We've got a couple of jobs upstairs. We can do things like the roof joists, uh, sorry, the, uh, the floor joists in the, uh, the attic space. Um, but we are, we're really getting there now. We're absolutely flying. Um, it's been a lot of hard work, a lot of long hours, considering we all work full time as well, but it's going really well. So uh, yeah, hopefully next week is going to be another week of uh, little sort of odd jobs and things like that. And we can start coming up with a plan for when we're going to get this excavator in and the dump truck, uh, which company we're going to use, going to do some evaluation of that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, hopefully make some really big progress. So I will see you on the next episode, which will probably be when we get an excavator in.